Hello, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who took an interest in Claudel Chibangu's story. With your generous contributions, we managed to raise $2,500, which will be used to pay for his flight to London and for his accommodation during the different training courses he will attend here in the UK. It means a lot to me to see that I'm not alone in the belief that young, talented people in the developing world need all our support to improve their skills and become leaders in their profession. And Claudel will be an interesting showcase. Let me tell you about him. I met Claudel with Soria Samura in October 2006, whilst shooting Blood on the Stone, a film about Africa's diamond business. I'm now here in Bujumai, the main diamond production region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. I want to try and get a feel of the diamond situation here. So I'm going to check out the local uh, journalists and see what they've got to say. Could I come in and have a chat with you? OK, no problem. And you are? Uh, my name is Claudel. Hey, Claudel. But my English is very, it's awful. <laughs> Believe I'm me, your English student. is better than my friend. <laughs> my friend is zero. OK, no problem. You can come in. Thank you very much. Before the civil war in the 90s, Claudel studied medicine, but he had to give up. Instead, he picked up a camera and started to work as a freelance video journalist in a local TV station. Okay, it's our plateau. Bonjour, we are calling it in French plateau, and he's a journalist. Okay. He'll begin his program in a minute. So you broadcast from here? Yes. Right. He's ready. Hmm. You are seeing here, he, he will present uh, some music. Are those your cameras? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Small mini DV cameras. Yes. This is what you used to broadcast <laughs> yes. live. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and, <laughs> My friend, your English is very good. So oh. now we have to find time to just <laughs> sit down and, and you tell me all about what's going on here. As the center of Congo's diamond business, Bujimai was a relatively rich town. But during the wars in the 90s, the city got swamped with militias and refugees. Poverty and unemployment led to a dramatic increase of criminality. Street children turned into violent armed gangsters, the so-called suicidals, and started to rob and kill. The police was overwhelmed and didn't succeed to stop the killings. As a result, the population of Mbujimai turned to mob justice. Claudel shot this footage in 2004 at the age of 22. Now, you imagine a non-African shooting these kind of scenes. You just wouldn't get away with it. So if you want to know what's going on, you better work with locals and you make sure they get the best possible training. Claudel became a major source for our diamond film in the Congo. It looked clearly that this just didn't happen in a day, you know. I mean, how long did it take for these people to decide to take justice in their own hands? Ces crazeurs ont lancé des cris d'alarme, donc ils ont demandé à l'autorité de réagir le plus vite que possible, parce qu'ils en avaient vraiment marre des comportements que ces enfants dits de la rue étaient en train d'afficher. L'autorité n'a pas réagi le plus vite que possible. Les crazeurs se sont carrément décidés d'exterminer les, les enfants de la rue. How worried are you that, you know, we're going to see more of these uprisings, uh, uh, you know, this sort of clashes that might just escalate? Nous sommes en train de, de nous demander si eh, un jour la population ne peut pas se soulever jusqu'au niveau où elle peut chasser l'autorité. Nous avons vraiment peur. Claudel has everything it takes to become an outstanding filmmaker courage, ingenuity and instinctive journalistic interest and your support will make it possible to offer him professional training in the UK. A grant from the Rory Peck Trust will allow him to follow a hostile environment survival course and in addition he will get journalistic and technical training from other freelancers. I intend to follow his progress in a series of internet videos and hopefully one day we will see him reporting from the Congo, so just watch this man. <laughs>